good afternoon students my lecture series for diffraction aktu syllabus btech first year right now in my previous lecture i told you the intensity distribution due to single slit diffraction is given by 1 is to 4 by 9 pi square is to 4 by 25 pi square is to 4 by 49 pi square and so on the distribution due to single slit diffraction consists of a central maxima followed by secondary maxima and minima and the mathematical value of the same is this now continuing further this is a very favorite question of section a what is the effect of making slit narrow for minima on either side of the central maxima as you can see here occurs in the direction given by a sin theta equal to plus minus lambda from where has this expression come you remember in the previous lecture i told you here a sin theta equal to plus minus m lambda m you put as 1 for the first one and you get instead of e here we have written a so a sin theta is equal to plus minus lambda when the slit is narrowed by reducing a which is the slit width the angle of diffraction will increase which means that the central maxima will become wider so see this is the slit width and this is my angle if i reduce this i have to increase this in order that the consistency of this equation is maintained now let us solve a numerical on single slit diffraction pattern obtain an expression for the intensity distribution due to fraunhofer diffraction at single slit what have you to write the answer for this this answer intensity distribution you will start writing the answer you don't need to write it for all the cases just in short you will write that the resultant due to n harmonic waves is given by r is equal to a sin alpha by alpha intensity is square of amplitude so i is equal to a square sin alpha by alpha whole square and then after that straight away continue to this expression for the cases of secondary maxima and minima followed by the principal maxima and after that i think there is a numerical a light of wavelength 4000 angstrom falls normally on a slit of width 0.10 mm calculate the total angular width of the central maximum in a single slit diffraction pattern the direction of minima is given by a sin theta equal to plus minus n lambda where n is 1 2 3 and so on so for the first order minima n is equal to 1 so i get the expression as a sin theta equal to lambda if theta is very small i will make it mathematically sin theta equal to theta so the expression becomes theta is equal to lambda by a theta is the angular half width of the central maximum now we will put the mathematical value see a has been given to us as 0.10 mm first we will change mm to cm and then lambda has been given as 6000 angstrom we will change it into cm 1 angstrom is 10 to the power of minus 10 m or 10 to the power of minus 8 centimeter and we will put these mathematical values here and we will get the numerical value half angular width total angular width will be twice of this value so you put 2 half linear width theta d total linear width twice of this we will get the answer light of wavelength 5000 angstrom is incident normally on a slit 
the first minimum of diffraction pattern is observed to lie at a distance of 5 mm from the central maximum in a screen which is placed at a distance of 2 m from the slit. Calculate the width of the slit. All numericals of diffraction, you have to use the formula a sine theta equal to plus minus n lambda, where n is 1, 2, 3, and so on. So for n equal to 1, sine theta becomes equal to a by sine theta, where sine theta is equal to, just a minute, sine theta is lambda by a, sorry, lambda by a. And if theta is a small, so sine theta becomes equal to theta. So theta becomes equal to lambda by A. So linear separation between the first minimum and the central maximum equals to 5 millimeter, which I have changed to 0.5 centimeter. Next, distance of screen from the slit 2 meter. I changed this to 200 centimeter. Putting these mathematical values, I get theta equal to 0.5 divided by 200 radians. Radian is a unit of angle. And we put the mathematical value here and we get the numerical value of A. Calculate the angle at which the first dark band and the next bright band are formed in the Fraunhofer diffraction pattern of a slit 0.3 millimeter wide. Lambda has been given as 5890 angstrom. Again, A sine theta equal to N lambda for first dark band, put N equal to 1. So A sine theta becomes equal to lambda. Sine theta becomes equal to lambda by A. For small values, either you put it approximately theta or here you can take sine inverse. The angle comes out very small. Fraunhofer diffraction due to single slit. Now look at the difference due to single slit and double slit diagram. There are two slits here, S1 and S2. Here the ray of light is falling here at the first slit here. And the ray of light is falling here on the second slit. And we have taken a lens which helps us in converging these falling rays and helps us in making a pattern on the screen. P dash comes due to the slits that are converging, ray of light converging here and P here. So I, I get my diffraction pattern here. Okay, so we have to find out for double slit. So please remember that for double slit in the diagram, please make two slits and the source of light is made to fall, fall here. E plus D is slit width plus opaque space, also known as grating element for a grating. Now, amplitude at P is the resultant from two slits is given by R equal to A sine alpha upon alpha. We have already derived this expression. Path difference in this case becomes equal to E plus D cos theta. Earlier it was E cos theta. Corresponding phase differences 2 pi by lambda into E plus D sine theta equal to 2 beta, where we have just written beta as a constant for pi by lambda into E plus D sine theta. We did this earlier also. Resultant amplitude is obtained by squaring this and writing r dash square is equal to r square plus r square plus 2 r r cos 2 beta. Taking r square common, we get 2 r square 2 cos square 2 beta by 2 equal to 4 r square cos square beta. Now r is a sine alpha upon alpha. So r dash square is 4 a square sine square alpha upon alpha square cos square beta. So intensity due to two double slits is given by 4 a square sine square alpha upon alpha square cos square beta, where alpha is pi e sine theta upon lambda and beta is pi by lambda into e plus d sine theta. Resultant intensity due to diffraction pattern is 
due to the contribution of a square sin square alpha upon alpha square, which represents the intensity due to single slit. Cos square beta represents the interference pattern due to waves from two parallel slits. The term a square sin square alpha upon alpha square gives the central maximum in the direction theta equal to zero and followed by minima and secondary maxima minima of decreasing intensity. So minima due to interference is given by E plus D sine theta equal to plus minus 2N plus 1 lambda by 2. This is a very favorite question of section A. Dif dif give the differentiation between interference and diffraction. Interference phenomena is due to the superposition of two waves coming from coherent sources, whereas diffraction is due to the superposition of secondary wavelets originating from different parts of the same wave front. The width of interference bands, as you can see above in this diagram, are equal, whereas in diffraction bands, they are not same. Intensity is same here, intensity spread, whereas in diffraction, the spectra consists of a central maxima followed by secondary maxima and minima. So this is the difference between interference and diffraction. This is a very favorite question of section A. Thank you.